Welcome to the Global Alliance of NGOs for Road Safety third webinar in a series of six called Let's Get Minimum Three Star Roads by 2020. Many NGOs are unsure how they can contribute meaningfully to reducing fatalities on our roads to the star rating concept and three star coalition specifically. These webinars are intended to inspire you and provide you with specific ideas on how you can get started or build on what you already do. We would like to make th these webinars as possible as, as useful as possible for you. If you have questions, there's a link to the que question and feedback form here on this slide. You can also find that on our website. You go to Road Safety NGOs under Activities and Capacity Building. You'll find the Empowerment Program. And here you'll find a list of all the webinars. Please keep an eye on this website in general because we will have a lot of offerings coming up over the next couple of months. You'll see a list of all our webinars here. And this is the third of our six webinars. It's called How to Advocate for Three Star Roads with Your Government. Today we'll focus on how you advocate for Three Star Roads. Um, and in this webinar, we have two presenters. Keith Johnson from the Three Star Coalition will take us through the why and how when working with governments on Three Star Roads. And Matla Otuzili, our Alliance member in Botswana from Society of Road Safety Ambassadors, will tell us how he prepared and what question he was asked and the outcome from meetings he've had with his government promoting Three Star Roads in Botswana. Matla is with us on a very fragile ride, ride, uh, line from uh, Botswana, from Gaborone. And uh, so please bear with us if there's part that are not so clear as they could be. Please use our feedback form if you have any specific questions for Matla. Keith, after Matla uh, has finished his uh, sharing his experiences, Keith will wrap up with some key points. Thank you, Lotta. The title of this webinar, as she said, is Advocating for Three Star Roads with Your Government, Preparation and Learning from a Coalition Partner. My name is Keith Johnson. I am the Director of Advocacy at Fund for Global Health. Let's look at the next slide. A coordinating member of the Three Star Coalition. This is one of a series of webinars created to empower members of the Global Alliance of NGOs for Road Safety to advocate for Three Star or Better Roads. The Three Star Coalition is a group of like-minded organizations that advocate for Three Star or Better Roads at the World Bank and around the world. Through such advocacy activities as lobbying World Bank executive directors, working with governments to earn their support, building coalitions, and generating media. And again, as Lotta said, we also have with us Matla Osohile, coordinator of the Society of Road Safety Ambassadors in Botswana to share his experience promoting star ratings with his government. Here's the agenda for this webinar. We'll look at why advocate with your government for three star or better infrastructure on your country's roads, how to prepare to meet with government officials, what you could ask them when you meet, and finally, Matla will share his story and we'll look at lessons learned from that. So, why advocate for three star or better roads? I recommend watching this video, which we couldn't play here due to technical difficulties. You can find it by Googling, quote, save kids lives film. It shows the highly dangerous roads that many kids have to cross every day just to get to school. 500 kids a day don't make it. So the reason to advocate with your government is that safe ways to cross the road save lives. Such things as crosswalks, pedestrian bridges, and many other safe road features are your government's responsibility. Achieving safety ratings of three stars or better, especially on the highest risk roads in your country, is one of the best ways to save hundreds of lives and prevent many more serious injuries. These are the things to do to prepare for advocacy. Some of them you may have done already. Number one, listen to webinar number one in this series on the International Road Assessment Program and get your questions about it answered. We are also developing a shorter set of slides that will enable you to make a strong presentation of the star rating system. Practice delivering this presentation in preparation for meeting government officials. 
learn to speak well about the issue. Learning to speak well about the issue and why it's important is your most powerful advocacy tool. So I encourage you to practice your pitch. This will probably be the first time your listeners have heard about star rating roads for safety and it's important to make a good first impression. Number two, be ready to talk about the most important road safety facts and stories in your country and what your organization has been doing. This should be something you're already quite familiar with. Number three, find out which government agency or agencies are responsible for road building in your country, province or state, and whether there is a department or a separate agency in charge of road safety. Number four, find out who the policy decision makers are in those agencies. You may not get to the decision makers right away, so you may need to approach lower level staff first. You may know people who have connections with the right people. Ask them for help. Go to policy people, not technical people like engineers. And number five, it's possible that IRAP may already be working with your government. If you learn that it has been, let's talk about how you can build on their efforts. So let's say you get a meeting. What's your goal? What do you want your government to do? Number one, uh, request that they star rate a high-risk road or road design of at least 50 kilometers in length and that a safer road investment plan be written based on the assessment. The safer road investment plan will list the features that should be incorporated to bring the road up to a three-star or better rating for all road users. We suggest that along with this, you propose a three-day workshop introducing engineers to IRAP's road assessment methods and software, using the assessment of the high-risk road as a training example. These things can be done for a budget of about $50,000. The actual amount will, of course, vary depending on the particular characteristics of the road. Finally, if uh, they agree to the above, you will also want to request that the countermeasures recommended by the Safer Road Investment Plan be implemented. In other words, that the upgrade actually be done. An assessment is a start, but actually implementing the recommendations is most important. The cost of this will, of course, depend on the road itself and the specific measures needed. As we said earlier, Matlo Tsohile is head of the Road Safe Society of Road Safety Ambassadors in Botswana, and we're going to hear what he has done so far with the Botswana Ministry of Transport and Communication. Before he starts, let me note that the his organization invited Stephen Stacy from IRAP to come do a presentation, and fortunately he was able to come to Botswana. However, IRAP is a small organization and going forward will not be able to send, send someone to a country without a significant expression of interest. This is why we're inviting you to be the one to take the initial steps to inform your government about and urge them to use star ratings to upgrade roads. When you get to a point where you need to consult with IRAP, we can help you make the connection. Here's Matla. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Mata Otsuhile in Botswana. I'm going to give giving you our Botswana experience. I'm the founder and coordinator of Society of Road Safety Ambassadors. We are a road safety NGO in Botswana. We are also involved in the IRAP three-star rating uh, program, and we actually invited an IRAP uh, rep to come and make a presentation in Botswana. Next slide, please. Uh, it all started when we joined the three-star coalition. We were interested in what they were doing. We were interested in the rating, looking at our roads, and also relating to the decade of action. So we joined the, the Three Star Coalition in October 2015, and in our talks, we managed to see what um, Three Star Coalition is all about, and the call for countries to adopt the Three Star Rating. That is why we set up a meeting with them. In fact, we were to attend the Global High Level Road Safety Conference in Brasilia, where we met with an IRAP representative, Keith Johnson, where we sat down to further talk about uh, the three-star coalition and the 
three-star um, methodology. We were able to agree on a date on which the Arab uh, meeting will be held in Botswana. And the date was uh, 21st of January. Now, in our meeting in Brasilia, we were with uh, Namibia entourage and the Botswana entourage. And we were able to set up an appointment for Arab to come to Botswana. Next slide, please. Now, we set a, meet, uh, a meeting when we came back from the Brasilia conference. We sat with the entourage that we are sent to represent Botswana. It was the chief executive officer of Motor Vehicle Excellent Fund. It was the deputy permanent secretary of the Ministry of Transport and Communication and the head of the road safety unit. Now with that entourage, we were able to uh, prepare for the mission together because they already knew about Arab. And so we sat down to prepare uh, for the meeting. We also um, managed to talk to the director of transport and safety because we wanted the minister and the permanent secretary to attend. Now going there as individuals, it was very, very difficult. Even this other entourages or this other representative that we went with, it was very difficult for them to make an appointment on our behalf. But we made use of the director of um, Department of Road Transport and Safety. This department falls under the Ministry of Transport and Communication. We were able to use this because he was our network. We have worked before. So he was able to make an appointment for us. And we were able to make an appointment with the minister and the permanent secretary on our behalf. Can you continue, please? So now, after setting up the meeting, and the appointment was honored. Now, the purpose of this meeting was just to prepare for the presentation. Because this was the first time the secretary saw us or knew about us. They knew about us in the paper. But now our role was to convince him that we need the three-star rating and to show us indeed we are relevant to his ministry and to his mandate. So we also came up with our partner who is um, also a love member of uh, the FIA, FIA Foundation, um, Mr. Simon, by virtue of his level as a director, it was adding credibility to what we were coming up with. So we were able to share our successful projects, we were able to share about the three-star rating and about the coming of an Arab uh, a representative. And we also requested that he also attend and also to invite um, his officials in the ministry. He showed interest in coming to the presentation and he also uh, showed interest in inviting uh, his members. Now, it is very, very critical to involve people in the high hierarchy, to get their buy-in, to prepare them before the other day or before the presentation. Next slide, please. Now, after finishing with the uh, permanent secretary, we went back to prepare now for the presentation, which was the next day. It was fortunate because we were able to lobby for assistance from the lead agencies that we have been working with. That is from the entourage that we went to at Brasilia, where they pledged uh, a venue for the um, for the meeting. They also pledged uh, um, 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 catering for the event. So because we have involved them, they were eager to help us. Even from their different organizations, they invited their officials. So when you are preparing for the presentation, make sure that all the heads of the department are aware of the presentation and they are invited because they will make the job simpler by inviting their officials, by also supporting the call. And when you are sending invitations, it is very critical to send them through also this head of departments because if you are doing it on your own, it is going to take time. But if you are to send invitations also, make sure you send them on time. Give them time so that you can also give yourself time to make follow-ups and make sure that you keep on reminding them about the meeting at an interval you will set. And also, it is very critical to look at the date 
so that it is conducive for all the stakeholders, so that it does not clash with any activity of uh, the particular people you are interested in. And lastly also, when you are planning for this, make sure you have a plan B, should anything go wrong. When we were inviting all these people, some of them did not come. Now, we had planned that if somebody does not come who is very critical, we'll set up a face-to-face -face meeting. Now that is a contingency plan. Next slide, please. And one of the critical things is to prepare for the meeting. Research, be relevant. When we meet, especially people of this high caliber, get the facts. You research so that uh, you have able to get a buy-in and that you are able to relate three-star rating to the strategy of the organization or three-star rating to the strategy of the Ministry of Transport. That's what we did. We got the statistics, we got um, the reports, especially of the previous uh, road audit, which was able to make a case that indeed we need three-star rating in our roads. Next slide, please. Now, the meeting indeed went okay, and that is why we also set up a side face-to-face -face meeting with the minister and the permanent secretary. Now, this was uh, an insightful meeting where an I representa uh, representative was to make uh, a presentation to the minister face-to-face. -face. Now, they also made their homework by researching about the frameworks and the laws of the country or the strategy. In this case, they were able to align their presentation to the Botswana National Road Safety Strategy. This was to ensure a buy-in. That is why after the presentation, the permanent secretary saw it fit that we sent a written proposal showing interest in the work to show that indeed this was relevant to the ministry and to the country. And the permanent secretary lamented of the high number of accidents. The minister was also impressed, especially given that the minister is holding a political portfolio. He is new to the ministry. He was very eager to do something new, something that no minister has done before or no politician. So indeed, he showed interest. Next slide, please. Now, after having said that, we were able to send the proposal as requested and after we sent on a weekly basis, we because we had the e maybe exchanged our business cards, and we were able to have a link with the secretary or the PA to the permanent secretary. So on a weekly basis, we send a message to say, "Have you seen our proposal? How far are we?" So indeed, it is very very critical to make sure that you keep on reminding them about the importance of this proposal, and also what we did was that. Once we are still waiting for the response, we were mobilizing other stakeholders such as the chief engineer so that they are able to appreciate this and also to lobby on our behalf to the minister and the relevant departments. So it is going to make it easier when we make follow up that we are not alone. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. Now, what is our way ahead? You should have a plan to know what you are doing ahead. The thing is to keep on following up because uh, this is something new, this is something great. They don't know the agency, but we need to keep on following up and we don't give up. And one thing that we are trying to do is to involve the media. We have written an article, which we believe will be out, uh, lobbying our government in a public forum to adopt this. We are intending to get the public mercy and the public attention so that they are able to see this importance and also help us to lobby the government. And also what we are trying to do is to set up an appointment with our development partners like the World Health Organization who will help us to lobby on behalf of the government. And lastly, what is important is to always have a contingency plan. We are also involving another of our sponsor in our country who is the Motor Vehicle Accident Fund where they will help us uh, uh, at least to sponsor the workshop. We are still in talks and we are still making a follow up on whether they will agree or not. Thank you, Mala. We'll be watching closely to see how this proposal comes out. There are many good points you make that I'd like to highlight. First of all, how did you get to the top people? 
Sorsa had worked with the Department of Road Transport and Safety on other activities. Through this, they got to know the director of that department. That department is under the Ministry of Transport and Communications. So the director helped them get appointments with the minister and the permanent secretary. On the next slide, uh, these are some other things that Matla worked with uh, Simon Modaseman from Emergency Assist 991 and the FIA Auto Club in Botswana, who is part of a road safety network and had useful connections. Number two, they got buy-in from the top. The director of DRTS and the permanent secretary of the ministry so that even though the top people could not attend the IRAC presentation, they directed others to go. Number three, Matla did his homework, including looking at a national road audit report and crash reports from the police to identify crash hotspots. Number four, in the meetings, he talked about his organization's other activities to build credibility. Number five, they were fortunate in their timing and a proposal was invited and sent. And six, as they follow up on the proposal, they are building support in other ways by generating a media article and reaching out to the World Health Organization in Botswana. Really great work, Mala. Thank you very much. In conclusion, we have touched on the reason to advocate with your government for three-star or better roads, how to prepare for advocacy, what you could ask of policy decision makers, Motla's great project in Botswana, and what we can learn from it. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been useful. After you have listened to this webinar and completed the feedback form, someone will contact you to see if you're interested in doing the necessary homework and approaching decision makers in your government. We encourage you to take this on only if you feel confident to do so. If you do, we will stay in touch to offer friendly support, get answers to your questions, and share with others in the Three Star Coalition and the Global Alliance what you learn and accomplish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madla and Keith. You may have questions and feedback to what you've heard today, and we would also uh, like to ev you to evaluate this webinar. Please find it and this link that you find here, also in this uh, subscription mail that you received, and you can also find it on our website. Thank you very much to all of you and have a nice day.